I think it is more important now that we do try and like personalize our education and make it so that students are engaged more in what they're doing because I find if you make things more interesting, you're more willing to learn. We're pretty proud of the uh, sort of multitude of opportunities that we have for students. If you're, if you're a student of various interests, we, we can offer uh, you something in the trades, offer you something in traditional academics, we can offer you something in, in the arts, in the fine arts. So we're, we're pretty fortunate to have that uh, smorgasbord of opportunities for students. And for those students who are wanting, we're able to provide. And we're pretty fortunate in a small community to be able to do that. And certainly we have a, a wonderful relationship between South Peace Campus and, and Central Campus where we know those kids when they're coming into our building, we know what their needs are. Put the fingerprints on and then it goes up on the suspect board. Okay. I think this project-based learning is a great idea because in certain subjects, well especially ones that you aren't really interested in, because it's definitely harder to learn and focus on a subject if you're not interested. I find it a lot more fun and I'm not good at art but I'm good at this kind of stuff like I'm not good at drawing and stuff but I can do stuff like this which is just tracing images kind of thing. Because there are some classes where you can incorporate lots of projects but then other classes like math and even physics you could do a lab in physics every now and then but it'd be kind of nice if we could move it more like to a real life experience. This team over here found that evidence first. We've created this CSI project based around um, multiple subject areas. So we have science, socials, English, and math. I like that a lot. I like how all our subjects are incorporated. It's one goal is to basically solve the crime using all the different subjects and all your skills and things you've learned. That's really cool. Some of the classes that we have are based through the computers that they put the courses online. I think if they take that and let the teachers communicate, like they have email, yeah, but maybe like Facebook for school or something, like a social network that the teachers could all go on to and share what they're going to do. And then with the whole Skype thing, when we were in our elementary schools last year, we did that with Mr. Kolke. Like he Skyped our entire class kind of thing just and talked to us about coming to Central. Our nonfiction books don't go out near as often as they used to. Our fiction is still doing very well, but kids, when they want research or information, they head to the computers. There's a lot of, obviously, project-based learning going on, and that facilitates needing the, com the computers and the technology much more. Right now, I'm on the um, BC team for speed skating. It really seems that when I'm not active, I'm not in a very good mood and I'm not open to anything, but when I move around and I get tired on a daily basis, then I feel like I'm more open to learning new things and I can focus more on my schoolwork. I play on all-girls hockey team. I've played hockey since I've lived here. Doing like sports and out-of-school activities, I find it keeps me more focused and healthier puts me in a better mood and I don't know I'm just able to focus more. I dance and teach dance. Being able to kind of go from school to dance kind of I can see I start to notice like things that I can bring from school to dance or especially teaching. We have dual credit programs taking place here on campus with our esthetician program, uh, AST, uh, heavy duty mechanics programs. Uh, we have a um, partnership with the city of Dawson Creek so we have joint use agreements for local rinks and that sort of thing and, and that also provides the city an opportunity to use our facilities as well. We also have in, in Dawson Creek Secondary School at South Peace Campus our Chaga Hall and every year we have a huge mu music uh, theater production that takes place. There is around 40 students in the play and they do everything. They make the sets, they work on the costumes, they act, they dance, they sing. We are doing promotion together so it's a big huge project based education piece. So many of my students are really passionate about what they do here and um, it helps them to come to school every day and it, it gives them a positive, safe place to be.